The Chalice Hot Springs provides a quiet refuge for travelers and Chalice locals seeking to relax in its 104 degree waters. The remodeled historic home and original gravel bottom pools are largely unchanged from the day when Bayhorse mine owner Robert Beardsley homesteaded the property in 1880. Robert Beardsley sailed into California in 1863, 23 years of age and ready to try his luck at mining. Beardsley was a seasoned miner when he arrived in Bay Horse in May of 1877. By that same fall, he made his big discovery of the Beardsley Mine up Beardsley Canyon, directly north of the Bay Horse town site. The Beardsley Mine became the wealthiest producer of the Bay Horse Canyon between 1877 and 1881. Beardsley signed a freighting contract in 1880 to haul 10 tons of smelter-ready ore daily to the smelters in Salt Lake City. Estimates of Bay Horse early production are just that, but geologists suggest that the Beardsley Mine was the largest, most continuous, and most productive yet developed up to 1881. After 1881, the mine was idle until 1884 when Beardsley sold it to Orange James Salisbury for $40,000. $40,000 in 1884 translates into $975,000 today. The Chalice Hot Springs property was developed between 1880 and 1888, and it catered to miners in particular, as well as the general public. In 1884, while traveling to New Orleans, Beardsley met Eleanor Halloran. It was love at first sight, and they were married in 1886. She was 25, he was 46. Tragedy struck the couple on May 30th, 1888, when Beardsley, attempting to ford the Salmon River at high water, drowned when his wagon was swept away. His body was found a week later. Beardsley's grave is on the hillside overlooking his chalice hot springs. Eleanor, widowed at 27 with two infant children, took over the full management of Beardsley Hot Springs, eventually adding a contract with Custer County for management of the county poor farm, a final refuge for old indigent miners. Eleanor died at the Hot Springs in 1931. Isabella Beardsley, their daughter, married John Hammond, and they continued to run the Hot Springs, passing the business on to their family for five generations. While Bay Horse no longer fuels the Custer County economy, the Chalice Hot Springs story is an extension of Robert Beardsley's mining success in Bay Horse.